Good morning, Aquarius, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utranaya, and today I will be doing a reading for you for May the 5th to the 11th, 2024. I've already shuffled your decks and cut them, and I shuffled them nine times each, utilizing the numerology of the date 0505-2024. So let's dive right in. Okay. Ooh, the first card that we are pulling for your week today my dear Aquarius, is the Emperor. The Emperor is bold, he is assertive, and he goes after what he wants. Hey, this doesn't have to be gender specific either. So you can tap into this. It's about energy and being able to tap into it. So this energy is being made available for you to utilize, my dear Aquarius. So what is it that you want in life? And you know, we think about Aries, which the emperor encapsulates, it's all about action. So what kind of actions can you do in order to get what you want, Aquarius? Do you even know what you want? Have you even thought about this at all? What do you want out of life? That is the first question that I'm getting for you, my dear Aquarius. And what are the steps that you need to take to go after it? Okay, so making an action plan. Okay, so opportunities are going to be making themselves available for you to seize. Okay, but are you ready to grab them? Okay, do you see here how the emperor, he has armor on underneath the cloak, okay? And his chair is made to look very uncomfortable because he's not, he, he does, the, <laughs> the throne is made to look uncomfortable and it is uncomfortable because an emperor should never get too comfortable in trusting where he is at the moment, okay? Because situations can arise and you don't want to become lazy or complacent because you've become too comfortable. And then you don't want to better yourself or seize opportunities that can lead to more uh, self-actualization, okay? And you see how his armor is on underneath his cloak. He is ready to go at a moment's notice if the opportunity arises, okay? So being ready, if you've planted your seeds or you've uh, done some introspection as to what you want in life and you've put out the manifestations there, but then you've gotten lazy or you're not prepared to seize the moment if the opportunity arises, then that's going to be uh, some, oh, one second. Chewy, get down. Sorry, <laughs> my cat was on an unstable foundation of table, okay? So you wanna be able to seize the moment um, when the opportunity arises. So don't put your manifestations out there. Don't put, don't start things like Aries does and sometimes is not able to finish it, okay? I know this from my own experience of having three planets in Aries, the Sun, Mars, and Mercury. I have, I, it's a, one of my goals right now is to focus on finishing things that I start, <laughs> Okay, so you don't want to like start things and then have that momentum built and then have opportunities uh, that the universe maybe is bringing to you or become apparent and then you are unable to grab onto them because you are not prepared. Okay, so that maybe if this is a job, maybe you might have put your resumes out there, maybe you wanna, you're asking for a promotion and then you get called into the boss's office and then you're in front of a panel and you're being uh, interviewed for something on the fly or you're being called in for an interview on the fly or you want it, you, they want, um, you get short notice, but you need to have a portfolio ready that um, illustrates all of your accomplishments and stuff like that. So if you are looking for, to better yourself and you're wanting new opportunities, make sure that you are doing the work to be fully, as fully prepared as possible because opportunities might come in an instant for you you're also being called to be bold and being assertive um, so don't shy away from asking for things that you want or knowing your worth and going after it okay so if it's a financial increase in your salary or if it is requesting um, if you're headhunted and they offer you something that doesn't align with what you think you're worth saying what you're worth Okay, this is the time uh, right now we are being called to understand our worth and not shying, not shying away from those boundaries. 
that we have learned how much we we are worth and standing those boundaries and not not moving okay being stubborn like aries okay get some more information to see where this is going okay so right after aries we have the hierophant so this is like the similar order that they come in on the on the in the tarot Aries is four, Hierophant is five. Maybe there are some seeds that you planted in Aries season that we just passed. We also just had that full total solar eclipse in Aries. There was a lot of uh, Aries, uh, a lot of planets in Aries in April and in the beginning of um, May before, before we started. No, wait, when does... Taurus season start. Taurus started in April too. So maybe at the beginning of March, sorry, and into May. Okay. So you planted some seeds. Um, and now, so this week that I'm filming this video for, uh, we do have a new moon in Taurus. Okay. So the Hierophant represents the sign of Taurus as well. Okay, so perhaps some things that you have planted in the in this in the season of Aries and the sun, when the sun was in Aries, they are going to be proving to be fruitful for you now in the in this time of Taurus, or perhaps you're being asked to plant the seeds during this new moon in Taurus as well. Okay, and going after what it is that you want your life to look like, being that emperor in your life, being the emperor of your own life. Okay. <laughs> So we have here the Hierophant too. He is bestowing blessings upon these initiates here. And so perhaps these are blessings coming in for you uh, during this ripe time of Taurus season here. And you are leveling up. Okay, you are leveling up. So um, if you see here, there are three levels here to the Pope's crown. Um, he is... These these three these three levels represent the uh, the the initiate or the um, the unskilled the apprentice and the master. Okay, so you are leveling up now in your life. You are becoming the emperor. You are becoming the master of your domain. You are becoming the boss. Leveling up. Okay, now. We do have the emperor who he's in charge of a country or his empire. And we have the pope, which is the boss of a religion or higher order. Okay. So this is a lot of leadership energy here, right? So maybe you are uh, leveling up into a, le uh, a position of leadership be it within your personal life, in your career life, or your spiritual life, okay? But you are leveling up and you are level, you're bossing up here, my dear Aquarius. So you, you need to take advantage of this energy right now, okay? Taurus is all about money. Taurus is all about finances, about stability, about building that foundation, planting those seeds. Venus rules Taurus. So she's about love, relationships, community, and beauty. Okay? It's going after what you want. And, 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 and maybe you're being encouraged also to tap into the um, pleasures of the earth, earthiness of the world, the tactile pleasures. Okay. Let's get some more cards here. Then we have the nine of wands. So this card illustrates having worked very hard for something. Okay. It made it might have been a heavy burden on your shoulders. Uh, you see here this gentleman, but it hasn't been for nothing, okay? The hard work is paying off because now he's reaping and harvesting what he has been work, working so hard on and that has, he has been toiling and it's been a burden for him and it's, but now he's going to be reaping the benefits of it because he's planted these, these, the seeds to this crop that he's now harvesting. 
and he is walking, he's just harvested them, and he's walking to his house, to his villa, in order for his family and himself to enjoy the fruits of his labor. Okay? So whatever it is that you're going after right now, uh, it's going to help alleviate the burdens of the of the past. Okay? This is the ten um, this is a ten card. This is the end of a cycle. So perhaps you've been working very, very hard, and now you're going to be leveling up and enjoying the fruits of your labor and be stepping into some sort of leadership position where you're going to be paid more money or you're working for yourself because you're the emperor of your own life. You're the head of your own ideology. Maybe you're starting a new business within something spiritual as well. But a lot of hard work has been put into something and now you're leveling up and going to be at the top of your game. Cool reading. Took a while for me to get everything there, but let's get some clarifying cards, okay? So, oh, what, what, where did I start with here? We started with the emperor, okay. So with the emperor, we have the moon. So what did I say about spiritual developments and spiritual leveling up so the moon can be about mysteries in life perhaps you and spiritualness and intuition and dreams and psychic abilities okay so when we get this with the emperor what i'm getting here is that you need to take the lead and listen more to your intuition and your dreams and tap into the psychic, your psychic abilities, the clairvoyance, your clairsentience, your clairaudience, your telepathy to help guide you to step into that emperor energy, to help you be bold, to help you be assertive, pay attention to the synchronicities. There's hints that the universe is trying to give to you all the time as to how to navigate your way forward and how to become that bold assertive emperor okay and despite how how hard the road might be and a lot of challenges because it's not easy being the emperor right you can't trust a lot of people because they're all they, you they want your position or they want to overthrow you they want to usurp your throne they want the power you have, right? It's not easy to be like Julius Caesar was stabbed by his senators, right? So you need to be ready to go all the time. You need, to, this is why the throne is uncomfortable because you shouldn't become complacent and too comfortable in this position because uh, that is when treachery can occur, right? But so as you see these pillars here, these pillars um, are significations of obstacles and hardships and challenges in your life. All right. And you see how there's a path here. You're being encouraged not to turn around. You need to keep going. Your goals here are the mountains. And this card is indicating despite the obstacles and the challenges, you are getting bestowed these downloads and you're being elevated in your consciousness. You're leveling up in your spirituality and your spiritual gifts. Okay, the Pope is a conduit between the heavenly and the spiritual entities and the earth. And you're being told that, you see how there's a dog and a coyote or a wolf here. You're being asked to integrate your domesticated side, your, uh, the side that can help you navigate this 3D realm, but also your pr primitive and your raw and your emotional and intuitive side. The side that is your unconscious and subconscious and uh, tapping into that, like the young yin like with like being mindful of the images and the symbolism of the world and how it can help you navigate becoming the emperor in your life. Okay, tapping into the raw unconscious and the subconscious, and not just the ego and the 3D realm, but also that your extrasensory abilities. Okay, you're tapping into the pool of universal consciousness 
and then to the collective unconscious and seeing the hints of the universe trying to bestow upon you with the signs and symbols that is in our collective unconscious. It's getting really deep. <laughs> All right. With the, with the Hierophant or the Pope, we have the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning. We just had the Ten of Wands, too. Now I'm looking at a more holistic view of the whole reading. We have the Ten of Wands, and now we have the Ace of Wands again. So something that maybe an old, maybe a job that you were working at is done. Maybe you quit or you're fired or um, you got laid off or you're just moving on to something better. And now you're getting a new opportunity here. This is a new endeavor, something with more that is alignment with your passions. And you're you're being you're being protected from risk here with the salamander. Okay, so we have a lot of fire energy here. You have the emperor. Emperors take risk. They're bold and they're assertive. They go after the, what they want, and you're being encouraged to go after something new with respect to a job. I think. That could involve spirituality, but it like it could be like you're developing your spiritual senses and abilities as well as there might be a job opportunity or something that is in alignment with something that things that you enjoy and that give you a drive and give you meaning in life and you're very passionate about. That you have a lot of impetuous energy here and you want to build something new. Okay, this this castle here is crumbling. And we also have the Ten of Wands. So something that you work very hard at is coming to a conclusion. And then you're going to be reaping the rewards from it. But And then there's some new energy coming in that, uh, with respects to building something new. Okay. But you're leveling up and you're bossing up. Okay. It's not going to be the same as before. And with the Ten of Wands, we have the Four of Wands. So more fire energy. Four of Wands can signify marriage okay i'm not getting anything like that here but it can also signify celebrations there's a party going on here behind you see okay they're all celebrating and this can be a portal here as well and so maybe that airy season the the total solar eclipse was also because we do have this here as well this is the sun and the moon together and this could have been a portal for you that that was a trigger point of this ending of your hardships and now a new beginning of you leveling up and tapping into some sort of some sort of something that gives you a lot of passion and drive meaning and purpose in life okay very awesome reading. We're going to end off uh, with some positive affirmations for your week. So this will be like your motto for the week. It, these are uh, from the deck that is called I Can Do It by Louise Hay. Okay. My heart is open and I speak with loving words. I am comfortable loving. No, I'm comfortable looking in the mirror saying I love you. I really love you to yourself. Look how far you've come, Aquarius. You should love yourself. Okay. If this right, if this reading resonated with you, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. If that is something that you'd like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with your week, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I'm truly grateful for your energy. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you have a wonderful week, dear Aquarius. Bye.